hello and welcome to another transformations in SPSS tutorial. Um, this again assumes that you've already done the skewness and catasis, square root and natural log tutorials that I've uploaded previously. Um, but if not, just pause the video and copy in the age column here. Because that's what we're going to be working from. This is the square root of this number and this is the logarithm of this number. Um, we found previously in another skewness and catasis tutorial that the data we, we entered in my family name were very skewed um, and so what we're doing is transforming it to get it to be something more, more manageable and more means um, moving it towards normality hopefully. So in this mo in this tutorial we're going to be looking at doing the reciprocal um, so just going to get on with it basically so first of all we go to transform and compute variable which we did previously um, and then again the compute variable window comes up again just as before it's remembered all the very the, the commands that we gave it beforehand. So what we want to do is we want to first of all change the numeric expression because otherwise we'd just be running the same one again as we did last time. And the reciprocal is one over the uh, age. So we just type over that keyboard one forward slash like that. And then we go and click on the age variable and then chuck it across like that. And that's it for that one. Um, However, again, we don't want to end up writing over ln age, which is the last one I ran, and it's gone and remembered that. So we can just delete that like that, and then what I type is rec age, or age. So that's the reciprocal of age. Okay, so it's all like that. You should have got the hang of this by now. I mean, it's a very simple one, let's make it anyway. And then you go down and click OK, and then we can see from this that it's now gone and click, yeah, it's got the age, the square root of age, the logarithm, natural logarithm of age and the reciprocal of age. These are all different types of transformations and they are all appropriate for different situations. Um, so you can then have a, have a look at using the histograms which one you think is transformed the best. 